Have you ever wondered how much money one person can make from reselling a product? Well, today we're going to take a deep dive into the world of Mr. Wine and his love for Prime. Prime, for those of you that don't know, is like a popular energy drink made by these two famous YouTubers, Logan Paul and KSI. Mr. Wines is a huge fan of the products, but not for the reasons you'd think. Does he love the flavour, the smell, the bottle? Well, you'd be surprised to find out it's none of those things. What he loves most about Prime is the resale price. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is it reselling illegal? And the answer to that is yes. It is. But we're not here to shame Mr. Wines. We're here to observe and see how much money he's made from reselling Prime. So let's dive in. I began by searching for the first video where he shows Prime. Then after doing that, I scrolled through each and every video and every time I saw a Prime bottle in a customer's hand, I'd count it as one. But, but Samps, wouldn't that be really long and tedious? Yeah. It was. To be honest, I just sat on my sofa and watched some TikTok. I'm not a war vet. I made a group on WhatsApp so I could keep up as I go because I don't want to go from like computer to phone, computer to phone. And I also sent myself the best video like this one. Yes, boys, how you doing? Are you alright? Yeah. yeah. Where have you come from? Doncaster. Don what made you come from Donny? For some pride. What's the best shopping work, eh? <laughs> Scrolling through every video meant I had to hear the opening to every one, which is... Well, how you doing? Are you right? How you doing, folks? Are you right? How are you doing? Are you right? Three, are you right? Hello, you three, are you right? Probably not good for me. Also, he makes loads of videos a day because they're easy for him to make. In the first 30 videos, he sells 40 bottles of Prime. Usually, this would be £80. But in this case, it's £30 per bottle of Prime. It would be £900. So in the profit would be £820. And if you do somehow find that crazy, this is less than 10% of the total amount of money I counted he made from Prime. Basically just squashing a fancy bottle. <laughs> The next 10 videos, he sold 17 bottles. I'm just gonna keep on going. Also, instead of scrolling through each and every video, I just scrolled through his page and tried to see how many bottles were in each of the like, little TikTok thumbnails because it's just much more efficient. I also noticed that as the videos go on, he eats better and better. Check this out, bad boy. Check this bad boy out. <laughs> It's clear that he was making racks and there's no point of me going through every single video. But now we're going to introduce a new character, the Prime Can. Prime Can is very hard to get right now. So since it's really hard to get and he's reselling it, how much is he going to sell one Prime Can for? It's Saturday morning, we've got the Prime Cans in. Check them out, Abdul. What do you think, Abdul? They're nice, yeah. We're the only shop in England to have these cans in. So come and get your cans. The £100 a can. 100 pounds you heard him right and in one of the videos someone buys a 12 pack of these cans 12 times 100 I i'm gonna put the math on the screen because i'm not doing it from the top of the head top of top of my head but not as crazy as when someone buys two 12 packs and they pay with a sports car Hello, bingo. Hello, bingo. so how are you gonna pay for it was you know what? You might as well take my car. Where's your car, my brother? Car's outside. You got the car key? That's the car keys. What car is it, pal? Audi R8. Right, no problem. Let's go outside then, my brother. Yes, brother. So you give me your car key. I'm, I'm taking the car off you. Yeah? You must be selling drugs in them poles, I don't care. The packs of 12 and a couple extra stray cans, he makes a lot of money. But the total gain of everything Prime related that he has sold was... £15,870 and an Audi R8 I think so basically people think he shouldn't be selling them at these prices because people think he's scamming people I mean he is selling a £2 drink for £30 I mean I'm not sure how much the cans cost but I'm guessing they're around the same price as like Red Bull and stuff so like um, about £1.50 I think but you get what I'm saying he sells these drinks at ridiculous prices basically everyone sees it as a scam but I completely disagree if people are going to buy it whether it's like for their kids or just buy it because they want a funny YouTuber drink they're gonna buy it no matter what i think it would kind of be a waste not to resell it at a higher price because it's kind of like a novelty thing and people just want the bottles as well it's not like the guy at wakey wines is forcing them with a the gun up to their head to buy the prime like yes what he is doing is illegal but i feel like if he's not going to do it then someone else probably will <laughs> 
If you could have already guessed, KSI is incredibly happy with another man, completely unrelated to his business, selling his product for more than 10 times the price, giving him zero profit, and posting it on social media. He's, he just loves it. Sweet. So you got 12 packs on, yeah. and you'll give me £1,200 for that. Oh my god, no! He can't keep getting away with this! Yeah. You know, I kind of do feel a bit bad because you're only meant to be able to buy Prime in the shops it's meant to be in. As the, yeah. as the employees <laughs> aren't even fucking putting on the shelves anymore. Oh, they're like, they're they're shipping, shipping, them out, low shipping key. it out low key. They're like, what's the point? I put it on the shelf, it's gone instantly. Fuck it, I'm just going to sell it on the black market myself. <laughs> what? That's what they're doing, bro. He really shouldn't have made any of that money, to be honest. And if he was making that money, he should have been selling it at the official price it's meant to be sold at, if that makes sense. From KSI's point of view, what can he really do? I mean, other than taking him down on TikTok, which I already tried to do, it doesn't really do much because people are still either way going to keep on going there because anything you do will just get him more publicity. I think the funniest and worst part about all of this is that, yeah, the Wakey Wines guy could just do this and like not put it online or just not even say the prices, but his whole account is based around selling Prime for these high prices, he makes videos on it. It's Saturday morning, we got the prime cans in. Check them out, Abdul, what do you think, Abdul? They're nice, yeah. We're the only shop in England to have these cans in. So come and get your cans. The 100 pound a can. Look at him, he knows what he's doing. Rewatch the clip, look at how he smiles. So come and get your cans. The 100 pound a can. Because if that guy had shockwaves after he railed me like that from behind, well, if you think about it, Wakey Wine's whole business is basically selling Prime because it's like really hard to get in the UK. But what about when Prime is easy to get? Because eventually they're going to solve this problem. So then he will just be the guy selling £2 drink at Asda for £30. But then on the other side, I think there's always going to be like a gimmicky product like this from like an influencer or something. Especially now when they're all trying to like branch on to different stuff. So... I mean, he has got the benefit of the doubt when it comes to stuff like that. Logan's KSI's business partner in Prime, and Logan's name is in the mud right now, so I don't really need to go much into that. Pretty self-explanatory. By the way, I don't think it's the Wakey Wine's fault, really, that people are buying these drinks at ridiculous prices, because if they're going to buy it, then they're going to buy it anyway. It's like he's doing a better job at supplying it than the actual, like, creator of the drink. What do you think about this? Comment down below, you know the drill. But now, the moment you've all been waiting for, is Wakey Wines a W or an L? Well, after counting it all up, and in my opinion, I'd say it's a W. I mean, if you think about it, technically it's good for Prime as a company. If this guy's selling it for really high prices, when you get the drink, it will feel much more valuable. And it also just gives the drink a lot more clout and stuff. Let's try and hit 1k before the end of January. I know we can do it. See ya.